for this afternoon. As the Knicks come in on the road, they've struggled on the road this season. Latrell Sprewell and Kurt Thomas at the forwards. Marcus Camby in the middle with Alan Houston and Mark Jackson at the guards. Jackson's played very well against the Bucks this year. Meanwhile, the Bucks still Glenn Robinson, not in the starting lineup, but after missing 14 games, he'll come off the bench. So Tim Thomas will start with Anthony Mason. Joel Prisbilla starting to play well in the middle. And Ray Allen and Sam Cassell at the guards for George Carl. Let's go ahead. Oh, there's no question about it. He's been on defensive teams his entire career. He's there to add toughness and a physical presence inside. And he helped deflect that ball away right back to Tim Thomas. So well, when you struggle from three-point range and you take more than half your shots from out there, it affects your whole offensive game because now your driving lanes aren't open for you to get to the hoop. Allen Houston knocks down the three. Houston had his career high against the Bucks earlier this season at Madison Square Garden. That was back in January. He had if Tim Thomas wants to stay out there and dribble, Sprewell's going to love that because he's quicker. He can get out there and guard him. But if Tim wants to go post him up, then he might have some problems. Sam Cassell knocks down a two. As we mentioned at the top, the Suns. Prisbella and a foul. Cassell setting him up beautifully, and Joel Prisbella with a chance for a three-point play. Prisbella coming off uh, one of his best games, that 14-rebound game. Houston pass down low to Kurt Thomas. Nice adjustment, and Thomas able to put it in. Well, that's a getting bump, taking the body contact, and going up and scoring it. Jackson setting up Camby beautifully. Marcus Camby can't finish, but Kurt Thomas right there for the offensive rebound. Jackson. Houston, another three. Allen Houston is second from downtown. The Knicks have hit three of them, and they have a six-point lead. Well, Susie trying to do a nice job on him. He's trying to get in there and battle, and right there he just says, okay, that's it. This is not this is not going to work. Let him get his bucket. I don't want to know what's in that mailbag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just mail. That's all. Trisbilla <laughs> gets inside. Mason, count it, and one. Marcus Camby put a hand in. And Anthony Mason with a chance for the three-point play. And Nelson coached him in New York. He got that one-handed style. Right. Then it's kind of like the clutch and grab. It's like Jim Furyk up there at the line or something like that. Houston hits another. Allen Houston off to a terrific start. He's got eight points. Knicks lead by five. We're just past the midway point of the opening period. Mason. Allen on a rebound. And that's what you need. That's what you need to get you going. A little easy bucket. Get an offensive... Allen trying to get on track. Nice move oh. inside from Ray Allen. <laughs> Explosive finish. You think of him, a lot of times you think of him, okay, this guy's a three-point shooter. He's soft. He won't take it. But he'll take it and throw down on you. Two. And you watch him. Thomas right there, he just turns the corner. And you're thinking, oh, he might just try to lay you. No, he's not going to just try to lay it up. Robinson looking to post up Mark Jackson on the switch. You got to clear out. Let him have his room down there. And his first shot's a good one. Yeah. I mean, you get a point guard on you and you're six foot seven. Don't stand around and congest it. Bucks back up by one after trailing by six. Jackson with the little teardrop. Yeah, Jackson with his second field goal. Last week and he's tired. But for a whole team. Hey. Ouch. That hurt. Just came in and Irvin Johnson said, I can't go. Oh, oh Allen with a turnover. <laughs> a little stunned after the Canby dunk. And the second turnover from Milwaukee. Bucks very sloppy to start. And they've lost two in a row. Two tough losses both here at home to Phoenix and Seattle. And as Houston now has 15. Talking with our Andrea Joyce on uh, the pregame. Saying that he gives them a C average. Nice Robinson pass. cuts inside. He can do a lot of things as a big man. A six-point Nick lead. Robinson gets by Sprewell. Ty looked pretty good that time. That's a real nice move. Shot clock turned off. Final seconds of the opening period. Sam Cassell at the buzzer. Knocks it down. And just like that, the Bucks come back. Bucks basketball has returned in a big way here in Milwaukee. Nice shot from Michael Red. He is really smooth. He is smooth. He had a great senior season, a great junior season at Ohio State. Out, and the Knicks come away. That was one. I'm catching it. I'm shooting it. <laughs> I'm just going to find a way to get this shot off and Allen. see if I'm hot. And that was a bad job right there. Irvin Johnson, you have to, yeah, I got to step up. Confident right now from downtown. He has struggled from that distance. Charlie Ward. 
puts it in. Ward knocks it down. That's the fifth three-pointer of the game for the Knicks, so they lead by six. He did us two out of the angry dunk. I always <laughs> enjoy the angry dunk by Spreewell. Just the face contorts and he gets up and they definitely cheated us. But that's, that's a situation where the score, they have to score to make it worthwhile and they don't. There you go. Cassell on the steal and Robinson yeah. lost the handle. Can't be trying to block it. Nice adjustment from Glenn Robinson. Those are one of those ones where you're just about to score two, two points, and then it just dissipates. Like, poof, well, gone. We're better and able to hold it together yes. there. Used to be able to put it in. Boy, what a nice move. Nice sound effects, by the way. Ooh, ooh, they let me play with him. You see right there, that was a nice. And you notice the double step right there, too. One, he pivots, he turns, and then he stops and goes. I want to, I want to try snowboarding one of these years. Look like everybody keeps telling me, oh, you're going to break your wrist. You're going to break your wrist if you snowboard. So maybe I won't. Allen Houston puts it in again. Houston now with 23 points. Now, well, that's just a situation. And you watch right here. I mean, this is pretty good defense. The pump fake jump into the body, that is not an easy shot, but he's feeling so good about himself right now that everything looks like a good shot. Houston fires again, knocks it down. Another three-pointer for Allen Houston. He's got 26 here in the first half, and the Knicks lead by nine. Yemeni. Like I said, you may want to deny the basketball <laughs> and not let him catch it in the first place. Because when he catches it, he's in range. Ray Allen inside. Pretty pass to Tim Thomas. Very unique player in the league with his abilities. Ray Allen with the steal. And Allen able to put it in. Mark Jackson with the turnover. A rare turnover for Jackson against the Bucks. He is offensive player. Sprewell, quick shot. The outside shot wasn't working early for Sprewell, but knocks down that one. Nick, two and a half gone by in the third. Knicks lead by seven. Sam Cassell, tough shot. <laughs> so he does a great job of getting to the middle. He gets Mark Jackson on the hip. You see Jack right there. <laughs> a little bit of a shove. On the, he's like, come on, come on now. He, he, he It was there. <laughs> you saw it, didn't you? That's just, if he's going to make that shot, <laughs> nice shot, buddy. Head on down the other end. Nice give and go, and Mason with an easy two. That's Sam Cassell working his magic. Yeah. Well, the weak side defenders must have had gum on the bottom of their shoes. Since. Kirk Thomas late coming over. Houston comes up. Knocks it down. Allen Houston is first bucket of the third quarter. Now 28 for the game. Teams have happened certainly in the 90s. Mason gets it inside. Nice move from Anthony Mason long enough to get up and really affect his shot so if he can get good position and he wants to keep shooting that that's certainly there for him Michael Red ready move from Michael Red no hesitation then exploding to the basket can be trying to help this time Sprewell it's a tough matchup on the defensive end Robinson just clearly can shoot over him. yeah what happened on the next three-point advantage as we begin the fourth Michael Red Robinson inside left hand red sets it up with a penetration though and it'll be interesting to see what happens if and when the bus can take the lead because they come up with a big stop red can be the rebound and a nice outlet to Houston Marcus can be with 16 boards Sprewell knocks down another one back-to-back -back threes for Sprewell and just like that it's a seven-point game and George Carl quickly wants to stop the momentum. Taylor made commercial because he's found it his game. You see him right there at three, and Sam Cassell setting him up again. He says, boy, this is where it should be all along. Kurt Thomas did a nice job getting out, but now he got it up. There's about an eight-second difference between the shot and game clock, so the Bucks don't have to foul. Jackson and a foul call on Cassell with seven left on the shot clock. Up his second. See him bumping him down, banging him down. I guess it's hard to tell, but he must have come up underneath and got a piece of the wrist. 76% from the line this season. And the Nick lead is three with 15.2 remaining. Milwaukee still has one timeout left. Neither team with a foul to give. And two clutch free throws from Mark Jackson gives the Knicks a four-point lead. And George Carl staring at the official Derek Richardson. 
Good ball denial from the Knicks. They have trouble getting it in. Finally do so to Ray Allen. And Cassell fakes the three-point. A lot of time going off the clock. Knicks doing a good job. Robinson's three. Won't go. And they're going to call a goaltend on Marcus Canby. It did not appear the ball was anywhere close to the rim. Looks like it was not have a chance to go in to be goaltending. It's hard to tell from that angle. That's short of the rim. But no, on that second time, <laughs> yeah. that's above. I think that may have grazed the front of the rim. Now, certainly that ball was not going in the hope, but just the mere fact you put points into the box. A key on a goaltending call, if it doesn't have a chance to go in, then it should not be goaltend. But that one was, was going to hit the rim. Yeah. And you can never tell off the bounce, so that's a good call. Well, exactly. That ball probably wasn't going to go in, but we use the word probably. Maybe it hits and kicks up off the glass, comes back down, takes some funky bounce, right. and goes in. But that's just not, not being mentally right but Marcus Camby, you can't reach up and grab that ball before it hits the rim. I mistakenly thought it was way short, but it wasn't, and the official's right on top of the play. So a goal 10 on a three-point attempt from Robinson. Camby with a mental lapse there, and it's a one-point game with 7.2 remaining. Teams desperate for a victory. Houston has it, and a foul call on Ray. Well, George Carl yeah. screaming. And the reason was because Allen Houston was in the yeah. front court, and then when he caught it, moved into the back court. You're allowed to go into the back court to catch it, but you have to establish position in the back court first. He is here. Did he have possession in the front court before he goes to the back court? See him catching the ball right there? Well, that's tough because everything has to be in the front court. And you see the pass right there, and he. Now I'm not saying I'm not sure if he's saying that foot was on the line. So it's everything was in the front court, but I know what George Carl said. Meanwhile, Houston has hit 28 consecutive free throws, has two clutch ones right here with 5.2 remaining. Knocks down the first. Bucks again are at. You have to establish position in the backcourt. And it didn't appear he had. Again, you can go in the backcourt, but if you're established back there, that's okay. But Houston had front court position that was a rule they just changed this year where you were allowed to go into the back court on that particular situation but again the key is establishing it so a two-point nick lead another this is a very big free throw houston puts it in bucks out of timeouts final seconds ray allen looking up wow. gets a great look at it and it's oh. good ray allen ties it with five Tenths of a second remaining. What a finish here in Milwaukee. About five minutes of 0-2. Well, you want to talk about a great look. Watch right here. Grab him. That's a great move, but he, he can't be getting out of the way. He's like a little beltway for you. Am I in your way? Well, excuse me. Let me move. And that is just a great look right there with two seconds left. What's wrong with? I'll grab him. You can shoot two free throws. We can get the offense or defensive rebound. Game is over. I've never understood with under three seconds left, and you're down three, and that's the only thing they can do to tie you, that they can get off that type of look. Now, give Allen all kinds of credit. That was a nice, by, you know, back behind the back dribble. He got himself free, but he should have never been in a position to shoot that shot. Oh, my. I mean, that's just... He's, you're right in his face. And just mug shot is what he's doing to you. And nothing you can do about that. Glenn Robinson wants the ball, telling Cassell, get it to me. Well, he's going to face him up. Nice move from Robinson. On the reverse, flew right past Comet. And no help defensively. It's pretty well. Cassell looking to double team as soon as he puts it on the floor. Here comes Mason now. It's pretty well tied up. Three on the shot clock. Has to put it up. Puts it in. Everything going down for Latrell Sprewell. He's got 42 in the next lead by five. It's sort of bound to fall in. Cassell trying to create some space. Michael Red, the three. Red comes right back for the box. And it's a two-point Nick lead with two and a half to play in overtime. And the Bucks trailing by two. Cassell ties the game. Sam Cassell with a big shot. It's seven. Again, Nick's up three. The wise thing would be to foul immediately. Yeah. And watch the inbounder, too. Watch him kicking it in and then right back out to Ray Allen. The inbound to Red. Red gets off a three and he puts it in. I don't believe it. 1.4 remaining. And we're tied again. Mark Jackson at the buzzer. Second overtime.
time coming up. <laughs> They're right in the corner right there, and that's the situation where like, it looked like Anderson wanted a foul, but he got there too late. Hey, when you know a team needs a three-point shot, switch everything. You switch out. Who cares if they catch the bucket or catch the ball five feet away from the bucket? Everybody should be around the three-point line. Any picks, you switch on picks. They catch the ball, you wrap them up. Nobody should be that free. Nobody should be that free at the end of the game to shoot a three. First of all, you should foul, but secondly, if not, you're going to have a guy right in his face. And that's a great look. That's a great look in the first quarter, let alone to tie the ball game and send it into double OT. Hey, he may have told him. He had said it several times in the, in the huddle. Don't give up a three. Sometimes you say things and it doesn't work. Jackson with the little floater. Knicks without their best rebounder in the second overtime. Cassell battling against Jackson. Jackson flips it up. Shot. Good again. Mark Jackson back-to-back -back buckets. And the Knicks lead by four. It's in there before you even let the ball go. We've seen some great plays, but some mental mistakes. Jackson for three. Bang! Mark Jackson from downtown. And the Knicks now up by five with 2.13 remaining. Won't go. Wetherspoon tips it. And Cassell takes it away. Terrific play from Sam Cassell. Robinson, the open jumper. And a foul on Allen Houston. And Glenn Robinson will go to the line for two with 31 seconds remaining. And the Bucks down by a point with Darvin Hand. Shot clock down to nine. Sprewell wants to make the play. Sprewell makes the move. Pulls back. Fires. Puts it in. Latrell Sprewell puts the Knicks back on top with 9.9 .9 remaining. His ninth three-pointer of the game. And the Knicks lead by two. <laughs> 48 oh points for Latrell Sprewell. <laughs> He's just unreal. I'm not, I'm not so sure. You'd expect him to look for Allen. Sprewell gets right up on him. Robinson sets the screen. Allen makes the move. Back for Robinson. Has a good look at it. Puts it in with 3.2 remaining. Then Robinson ties it up. And the Knicks will call timeout. So the Knicks will inbound when we return. Second overtime in Milwaukee. 3.2 remaining. Bucks and Knicks all tied. And it's still tied. Knicks will inbound. Bucks here have a foul to give with 3.2 remaining. That's very important now for Milwaukee. Jackson tries to get it in. The Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon puts it up. And a foul call. Darwin Ham fouled him in the act of shooting. Ham again. A mental mistake. And Weatherspoon will shoot two. He, he had on his mind, it's obvious, yeah. a foul to give, but just the wrong time. As Weatherspoon got the shot up, and Weatherspoon will shoot a couple of free throws. Weatherspoon, 82% from the line this season. This is his first free throw of the afternoon, and he knocks it down. Knicks by one with 1.9 remaining. And mentally, that's where you got to be focused right there. you got to think to yourself, okay, he can get a foul to give, but it's Terrence Weatherspoon shooting the shot. Let's make him shoot the shot, see if he can win the game. Bucks still have a timeout left, so if Weatherspoon hits this, they can advance the ball to the front court. Weatherspoon, two clutch free throws on Shandon Anderson trying to deny. Mason looking to find somebody, gets it to Michael Red. Red puts it up at the buzzer. No good! And the game comes to an end. The Knicks with a huge road win. And just a thrilling, extraordinary game here at the Bradley Center.